Hi friends. I woke up this morning and I thought, you know, today is a good day for an astrological update. There's some stuff going on and I thought I would just share it with you in the next few minutes. Uh, first of all, the sun has moved into Virgo and Virgo is a sign of work and precision and detail and getting in there and organizing your life and getting it just so, so that there can be greater flow in your life. So it's a time to go back to school, to get back to work, to dive in, to organize, to analyze, to um, pay attention to the details so that uh, what you've been dreaming of can start to manifest. Now also, it's important to know that just recently, in fact, just in the last few days, Mars has started to pull away from a conjunction between Saturn and Mars. And Saturn and Mars next to each other, it's been there for a while, and it's a little bit like trying to move forward and being held back, and trying to move forward and being held back, and it can be quite intense. At its best, it creates a kind of endurance, but at its worst, you, you feel rather thwarted. And um, now, just, just in the last day, Mars has moved into Scorpio and starting to move away from Saturn, which should give some new feeling of commitment and drive and forward momentum and feeling a little bit less of being reined in. So when Mars is in Scorpio, you dive into the muck and you get tenacious and you dig in and you make it happen. Another thing that I want to point out that we are in the middle of, and many of astrologers have been talking about, is that Uranus is square Pluto right now, and it will continue for a good another year or more. And Uranus square Pluto is a time of a destruction of outworn old structures. So we're all feeling it in our lives. We're getting sick of ourselves. <laughs> Things are needing to change. Sometimes the change is happening really rapidly and painfully. Um, it's, it's, it's our inner revolution, just like there are revolutions all around the world. This is our inner revolution. So there's a kind of uh, upheaval, a massive upheaval going on. And just personally, it's going to be somewhat unsettling, but it's going to break you free into new territory. And just speaking of new territory, we're now in a period of time with Jupiter in Gemini. And Jupiter in Gemini is a time to be curious and a time to connect and a time to explore and a time to network. So this is, you know, leaving something old, breaking down something old, leaving old emotional patterns with that Uranus square Pluto and, and, and being willing to dance in this new territory of Jupiter and Gemini where all these new ideas will bubble, all these new desires to connect and opportunities con to connect will be in, one's, in, your, in your life. And this will go on for another good like seven or eight months or even maybe nine months. So, and then the other piece that I just want to mention that we are preparing for is we're preparing for a shift of Saturn into Scorpio. And that's going to happen October 6th. Up until October 6th, we're still in Saturn in Libra. And Saturn in Libra, it's a time of decisions and a time of deci deciding with whom you will connect and relate and those that you will choose no longer to relate to. It's a sign of getting in alignment with yourself and finding balance within yourself. And so we're in the final degrees of that. So there's going to be a lot of choices made around relationships. And then we move into Saturn and Scorpio and talk about digging in and facing your fears and talk about breaking down old fear structures and facing and riding and transforming our fears. This is the next two and a half years. So I just wanted to plant this little seed today. I woke up and thought, ah, good time to check in. And of course, it's always a good time to check in with your own chart and see how all of this in the heavens is affecting your own chart. So do, do call and connect if you'd like an update in that way. But meanwhile, have a gorgeous day and thanks for listening.